everybody, it's low carbon keto friendly nutritionist Amy Berger bringing you another installment in doing keto without the crazy. I have a big announcement, you guys. It's here. The book that I've been telling you about for months is ready. My baby has been born. If you've been wondering, if you've been waiting for the stall slayer to come out, it's available for sale right now now let me tell you a little bit about it um i will also link to the first video i did a few months ago introducing you to this concept to kind of whet your appetite for it um let's see where should i start okay who why did i write the book and who is it for well the book is called the stall slayer and the subtitle is seven roadblocks to keto fat loss and what to do about them so that should be pretty clear why i wrote it but i'll i'll dive a little bit deeper here stalled fat loss is the number one reason people write to me for help what am i doing wrong why am i not losing weight why is the diet not working now of course we know people do ketogenic diets for all sorts of reasons unrelated to weight loss but since this book is specifically about breaking fat loss stalls everything i'm saying in this video is specific to losing body fat okay again it's the number one reason people write to me for help so instead of writing out the same email hundreds of times you know asking questions have you tried this are you on this type of medication what about this issue I put it all together in one place all the possible problems and all the possible solutions so um if you've been following a low carb or ketogenic diet for some period of time and you've either not lost any weight you started and you haven't had any of that keto magic you read about and hear about on the internet all the time or you've been doing low carb or keto and it was working great at first maybe the first few weeks the first few months and all of a sudden boom you ran into this roadblock and for the life of you no matter what you try you cannot get past that roadblock well there's a good chance there's just a couple of things you haven't thought of a couple of obstacles, a couple of issues that stand in the way of continued fat loss on a low carb or ketogenic diet. And the good news is most of them are pretty simple to correct once you know what they are. If no one's ever told you that certain things could be an issue or you've never heard it, then you don't know. If you don't know something is a little out of whack, you can't fix it. So it's all right here in the stall slayer and um other reasons you might want to buy the book if you have no problem with fat loss maybe you're doing keto either for a totally unrelated unrelated reason or you did keto for fat loss but you reached your goal weight and you're maintaining it and life is grand do you have any reason to buy this book i think you do and i'm not just saying that because i wrote it but um two two reasons why you might consider buying this even if you personally do not need it right now at this point in time the first is maybe somebody you know needs it and not that you have to buy it for them but you could buy it and read it and then perhaps offer them some advice your best friend your spouse your child your coworker, somebody in your life is doing keto and they're stuck and they're racking their head against the wall they don't know what else to do you can send them the link and just have them buy a copy or you know you can buy it and just read it yourself perhaps to help others but do remember how much i always emphasize about being careful in the way you try to help other people just bring things up very delicately do not offer unsolicited help right if somebody wants help and wants your input provide it the second reason that it might be uh, nice to buy this book if you don't actually need it if you are not having a problem with stalled fat loss is that if you've just enjoyed my videos if you've enjoyed my videos or my blog posts or any of the other my twitter feed perhaps any of the content that i put out and you're not a big fan of patreon you know you you can see a link down below in the notes to uh, support me on patreon if you would like to do that but i know some people don't like patreon um some people don't like to use paypal or or yeah paypal to just send a contribution for fun so if you're looking for a way to say hey Amy thanks for all these videos or hey Amy thanks for that blog post it really was educational if you're looking for a way to uh, thank me or send send a little something my way in return for any benefit you may have gotten from my work through the years this is a perfect way to do that 
perfect way to say hello, perfect way to um, say that you appreciate some of the work I do. And I do want to call your attention to the fact that there are two versions of the book. Now, I'm go I'll have links below, a separate link to each version, and then I'll have a link. I created the website stallslayer.com. I did it all by myself, so I can't guarantee it's the greatest website you've ever seen, but it's just a nice landing page where there's just centralized information about this, and it's easy to remember. Stallslayer.com or thestallslayer.com will also take you there. But I will have links to all of that below, and you'll see links because there's two different versions of the book. There's one that I call single page format, and what that means is it's one page per sheet. So if you plan to read this only electronically on a device or maybe a phone or a computer or what have you, a tablet, I recommend buying the single page format. I also recommend single page format if you plan to print out, it's a PDF, if you plan to print the PDF to read in hard copy. I'm a hard copy girl, I don't like electronic books, so I, I would print it out. If you're gonna print it out and you like a larger format, purchase the single page because this is what it looks like on the inside. Basically just, you know, this is one example of a chapter page. It's just the full page is text, right? The full, this is a shorter page, but the, the whole page is taken up with the text. In the second version that's available, it's called the booklet version. The booklet version is the one to buy if you plan to print the PDF, but you're maybe going to print it at home and you want to save paper. If you were to print out the single page format, it's about 170 pages, maybe a little more, I don't remember off the top of my head, it's about 170 something pages. The booklet format is only 85 pages. So you'll conserve a lot of paper if you do the booklet format. And what to show you about the booklet format is if you purchase booklet, it looks like this. This is one sheet of paper, but instead of the, land, the portrait, it's in landscape mode. You know what I mean? The sideways kind of mode for the paper. And it looks like a book, as if you're reading like a paperback book. You just flip it open and there's two pages per, per sheet of paper, two pages of book per sheet. Um, and the font, the font is just a lot smaller. However, the font is no smaller than on a regular type paperback book that you would read. So it's definitely readable and it's, I think it's cute. It just depends on your own personal style. Do you want the big version with the larger font or just the cute little booklet version? You just have to make sure to print the booklet version in landscape format. Um, another note, if you do choose to print it out, I've selected what I think are some very adorable images and graphics all throughout and they look really cute in color. But if you are printing it at home and you don't want to use all this color ink, you can absolutely print it in black and white. The book loses nothing. The content doesn't lose any of its meaning. All it means is you don't get to see the pictures in the cute colors. And there are some blocks like you'll see, for example, I have some block quotes and there's the whole the whole panel behind the block quote is colored and there's a few of those in each chapter so you know there's there's a bit of color ink and then you know but you do what's best for you but i sincerely hope you think that purchasing the stall slayer is best for you i really this has been a long time in coming it's about a year i started writing it about a year ago it took a long time to get it out but um, it's done now and i think it's going to help a lot of people i think there's some very kind of what I consider obvious and straightforward things that get in the way of keto. But if you don't know these things, you don't know them. If no one's ever told you, now somebody's telling you. So if you have been working very hard to lose body fat and it's not happening, then do consider checking out the Stall Slayer. Again, all the links below or just go to stallslayer.com to find out more and I guess that's about it. That's really all you need to know. I sincerely, I hope you buy the book. I hope it helps you. If you do buy it and it helps you, please let me know about it. My contact information, you can get it on my website too at nutrition.com or you can contact me via stallslayer.com. So please send me the good news about how this has helped you or if you weren't struggling with fat loss and you chose to buy it anyway just to learn, feel free to write to me with something that you learned that was new to you uh, before you read the book. So thank you so much. Happy reading and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.